here, man. Some eggs, man. And give me some chicken noodle soup. You hear me? Hello, Americans. <sighs> Another friend subscribing around the world. Back here, man. Alright, so, uh, the temps are pretty good, man. It's still been going from last night. That dude, that dude. But the uh, temps, they're actually, actually saying that it might, this rain, because it's dumping down rain. I don't know if you can tell that out there. And their predictions are talking about it turning to snow here in an hour or so, man. It's uh, the tips are, uh, I mean, definitely you can just feel it, man. It's right, it's right on the border of being cold enough to, uh, cold enough to snow. I don't think it'll stick around, but... Never know. Never know when Idaho. Already going through firewood and I ain't even got to put up yet. Oh, man, so now, uh, I'm out here in the uh, trading post, got fire going. I'm gonna go out back and do some other, uh, here's a little, uh, I'm going to go out and uh, that's a good one. It's got a little bit of the ding. It's made out of pewter so you can kind of straighten it. But, uh, that's a spittoon is what that is. That and then I got this. This is that stuff that I picked up up there in Oregon. Got a, holy crap. This, I'll strip all the line off of these. Well, maybe not this one, because this one's got leaded line. And then, uh, holy crap. It's all tangled up. It's all get up. Holy crap, man. I want to show you. <laughs> there. That little Abu Garcia level line. It's got leaded line, so Grandpa used to use leaded line a lot, you know, and you use it for uh, for trolling. You know, and it's a coat or it's a leaded line with a uh, fabric over it. I don't know how much it's used anymore. I guess trolling would use it. Holy crap, man! These things have gotten out of control. And then got a Mitchell, a little Mitchell 300A. This one's pretty good, but I screwed up on this one, which I only gave five bucks. I'll still probably get 20 bucks, 15, 20 bucks for it, but uh, it's mi missing the bell. Which I didn't pay much attention, man. I just seen Mitchell and threw them, all three of them in there. So I'm getting ready. I'm going to strip the line. This one I'm just going to clean up and oil it a little bit. And uh, so it'll be on. It's probably... Oh, 40 or 50 bucks. Well, so, this, this was the best. This was the score. But then she told me because this, mm -hmm. there was this tag on it, which couldn't really uh, read the tag. And from the best I could tell, it looked like it was two digits. You know, so I thought, oh, dude, this is probably. You know, 30 or 40 bucks or something they want. When I went in and asked her, man, she's all five bucks. So I didn't even look at those. And I was all at five dollars each for all of them. Show, oh, yeah. So that's, there was three reels and they were sitting outside in a box. So I didn't even look at those Mitchells, man. And even a non working one, man, you can sell for parts. Just, just doing the Mount Junker thing today, man. You know, that's, that's what I is, man, as I'm a mountain trader, dude. That's how I make a living. So let's, uh, well, let me see what we're doing today. <clears throat> and then, uh, 
got so much crap that, you know, if you look back, man, I was cooking on those, uh, you know, I got that new Lodge, Lodge grill, you know, a little portable one, and then I had that, this other one, oh, it's in a metal, metal box, and it's, uh, this one is, look at, Porta grill. And I've decided because I'm going to look it up right now. I mean, if it's uh, this would be great for hauling and stuff, but if it uh, I figure it's probably a hundred bucks, man. So if it's worth a hundred bucks, I'll sell it. So let's find out right now. Didn't see nothing like it, dude. An old uh, hibachi. A double grilled hibachi for a hundred bucks. I remember when hibachis were hot items, dude. Yeah, this is. I ain't finding nothing, uh. Nothing like it. So I'm gonna put it on. Put it on for a hundred bucks. It's pretty dang nice. I just don't know how many portable grills I need. It's one thing when you're looking stuff up on eBay. You know, always, always go and look uh, look under the sold. You know, if, if it's not there, if they don't have any like it, then um, so be it. But uh, that's where you're going to actually figure out how much money, you know, that's what they're actually worth, is whatever they're selling for. Ooh, them little hibachis, man, I'll be picking them up. There's a little single a hibachi, you know, if you know what they are. 150 bucks. Damn. Yeah, there ain't nothing like a... I think I'll put 150 on this thing, the best <laughs> offer. Cause it's pretty dang cool, man. It's got that metal box that goes into the fold fold out legs. If you look back at my videos, you can see it. But uh, I ain't seeing nothing, nothing like it, dude. We used to have a. Uh, used to have. Used to did had an emblem on the top of it. I wish I could make that out. I'm gonna have to pull it out of here. It's kind of, it's kind of greasy. Oh, kind of blacky. All right. All right. So, let's see that. I don't even know where the camera is. So I'm going to, for one thing, which the man, as soon as it stops raining, I want to finish off this wall. I can put the door over behind you is where I'm going to have a doorway. And then I'll probably just put a, probably not a hard door, you know, and it's could probably, well, probably five feet. And uh, I'll probably just put a curtain thing up there. Then I'll close off, you can't see that, but close off the end of the thing. But for some reason, I guess it might be coming in off that corner. But for some reason, this, uh, this table, oh, dude, there's one moccasin there. I got these moccasins, man, and I'm uh, going to end up. Pick these, pick these up. Only I would buy some more out moccasins. But I'll pick these up and uh, redo the soles on them. Cut the soles off and redo them. And uh, these are my side. So anyway, I got sidetracked again. This table is for some reason getting wet. So, uh, do something like that. And then uh, the other uh, 
other thing. Oh, these very marks. What the hell am I going to do those for? The other thing is... Hey, Welfare Wood from Perry. Dang, man, why isn't that hanging up? Um, this table's all wet, but I want to get this table cleared off. This, so that we can take pictures and stuff of, uh, like that stove. Because, man, it's all greasy, grimy. And Miss Kitty, you know, on her picture-taking table, she's got white paper and stuff. Actually, she has different colors and stuff, but she puts down paper, and that would just make a, just make a mess, man. Muffles. Where they goes in the table. Life of an old mountain trader. Bob Wedge. Dude, I don't know what the heck to do with all this crap. You can't move it from. I had somebody, I think I was. I can't remember who it was. Might have been wrong. Said, all you do is move sh stuff. <laughs> One place to another. That ain't no freaking kidding. Right now I'm moving all this stuff, man. And I'll tell you what, the breeze that's coming off of here, man. This rain lets up, man. I got my compressor over here, which I'm going to put the compressor out because I've still got, you know, I got a roof on that rabbit hutch. Dude, the, it's been raining and crap. Oh. Um, Ever since I haven't got over there and got the rabbits, you know, they've got metal and stuff over, but I've got to get that taken care of, man. This did oh this battery's going dead. Snow could come anytime. Oh I have this piece off of something. What does this go to? Look at that man. Definitely if it's getting put back together, not something you wanna lose. Coleman Lantern, that box pretty much shot. That box pretty much shot. Oh man, look at that. Beach. the boards are sticking out uh, you know I got uh, felt the tar paper and then I've got or I've got the boards felt tar paper and then metal roofing and what might be happening because I've got some tails sticking out so that might the water might be hitting that and seeping in in that way and uh, okay, that's the only thing that would explain. So maybe I'll cut those bills off and see if that makes a makes a dang difference. That right there is a this is a local piece. We uh we're driving uh railroad spikes man. Imagine swinging that thing all day. Hitting a spike with that, when the spike head's the same size. Crazy. Crazy. That's local, man, from the local railroad. Mmm, Chad, whiskey. Oh, dude, that's a nice look. <laughs> All this crap. All this crap I discover when I'm doing this. Okay. Honey go. Oh, 
Well, you probably don't want to sit here and just uh, watch me go through this junk. Maybe you do, man. <laughs> but, uh, not going up to... And actually, I was hoping to go up to, uh, get some, get some firewood today. Be a good day to, uh, would have been a good day for... Only one. Um, welfare wood, man. Because I think that, uh, I think elk season closed. I think it did. According to, uh, um, Muskrat, or at least over in his area, it don't close till, uh, Alright, man. Okay. Going to According to uh, Muskrat, don't close till Wednesday. Tomorrow I got a dentist appointment, so I won't be going up. Tomorrow, well, man, I'm really excited about that. So maybe the next day I might be going up. Man, as soon as it stops raining, dude, I ain't done getting firewood, man. Not until I can't get up there anymore. And then I'm going to go a different direction, so I'm sure I'll take you along for that. Pick up any dang wood, any wood we can get. But let me tell you what, man, uh, I'm, uh, I'm already burning through it. Oh, there it is. I was looking for that. That's the way to that's an adjustable or foldable. Foldable, foldable, bubble, bubble. Um, see you fold the handles in. Maybe a fold. There you go. Folding. Uh, dry knife, man. That's buy one personal. It's not for sale. I really don't know how all this crap got stacked on me. <laughs> Probably just as soon as this weather comes, man, you just start uh, throwing crap everywhere, trying to trying to get it out of the rain and snow, especially when the snow snow hits. These are a bunch of bits. Alright, man, that's all I got, dude. Um, I'm sure, like I said, man, you probably don't want to just watch me go through crap. Um, I keep taking the time to to talk when I can just be, uh, could just be listing, or not listing, but uh, going through crap. See, I can't even concentrate. Because my, uh, that's an old bag for picking spuds and stuff, they'd throw this, go, go like this, throw it between their uh, legs, and then they go like that. It's a whole harvesting bag from uh, Homedale, Idaho. Old buddy gave me that. Old buddy gave me that. Anyway, man, so, uh, yeah, things will get more exciting in the next video, I hope. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. It helps keep the lights on. The home fire's burning them propane tanks full. Check out the link below in the eBay store and all that jazz. Good Lord willing, them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.